Hey, 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 everybody. It is April 15th. Here in the U.S., it is tax day. So what subject do we need to talk about? Money. Today's podcast episode, let's talk about money. Stick around. You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. Hello, everybody. I am excited to talk about money. All right. So many, many years ago when I first started my business, I read a book called Profit First by Mike McCallowitz. And when I read this book, I loved the concept. I thought it was so amazing to be able to pay myself my profit before paying out my team or my operations or any of those things. But the reality was that I was not at a point in my business where I could afford to really pay anything or anyone. I was struggling to get by. So this book sat on my shelf for years and years and years. Well, I'm excited to say that I sat down with my coach and with Melissa Marketing Q2 goals, it was to be able to implement this process. I believe that it is incredibly important to know where your money comes from, how much you need, how much is going out. And what I find is a lot of business owners don't know this. A lot of coaches and healers specifically don't know this. Very often, we start our business because it's a hobby. We find that we love to do it and we're good at it. And people keep encouraging us to keep going because they love what we do and they're getting transformations. But that doesn't mean that we're good at business. It doesn't mean that we have the marketing systems in place. It doesn't mean that we have the business structure behind the scenes and the back-end systems set up. And it doesn't mean that we are geniuses with our money. So many of my clients, I'd say 90%, if not all of my clients, just take in money, put it in a bank account, and then they look at the bank account periodically to go, oh yeah, I'm good, I'm not overdrafting, or oh yeah, I'm good, I can purchase this program, or I can buy this thing, yeah, I'm good. But there's no real system there. If we think of any of these really big corporations, they know what is going on with every single penny in their bank accounts. And truly, if you want to grow or you want to scale your business, you need to be able to do the same thing. So the first thing I'd recommend is to figure out your budget. What are you spending your money on in your business? What softwares, what investments, whether it's to further your learning through courses or to figure out how to grow bigger and better, both mentally, physically, in your business with a coach or a strategist. Or maybe you're adding to your team with delegation. Maybe you have a designer. Maybe you have a funnel builder. Maybe you have a content creator. Maybe you have a social media manager. These are all things that cost money in your business. Maybe you pay for Trello. Maybe you pay for Canva. Maybe you pay for Zoom. Maybe you pay for your email provider. So sit down and make a list of what all of these things are, how much they cost you, and if you're paying monthly or annually. The truth is when it comes to doing these types of things, it is the most tedious thing I could possibly do. It is like I want to pull my hair out of my head. But once it's done, I feel like a million bucks. So sit down and do it. And it's not going to take as long as you think it is. It's really not. So You fill that out, you figure out where do my business expenses go and how much are they and how often are they coming out. Then you need to know where's your money coming in from. Do you have one program? Do you have several programs? Do you have little digital programs that people can download? Figure out how people spend money in your business and what are the price points of those things. Now with this book, Profit First, It says it's a simple system to transform any business from a cash-eating monster to a money-making machine. And the way this works is basically you have several different bank accounts for each thing in your business. So I have several bank accounts in my business. Plus I have other bank accounts in my personal life. But let's talk just about business here. I have a profit bank account. I have a salary bank account. I have a taxes bank account and I have an operations bank account. 
And the reason why I divide it out this way is so that it is very clear what money comes from which place and goes out to whom or what and when. So basically, I know where every penny is in my account. And when it comes to filing my taxes, it is a dream come true for my bookkeeper or my CPA or if you do it on your own, believe me, it will be very easy for you. So the profit account is 5% of what comes into the business. Now the author, Mike McCallowitz, he gives you a different percentage based on what bracket, what income bracket your business is in. I'm just giving you an overview generalized percentage here. So for profit, we have 5%. And on the first day of the quarter, we take out half of what's in the profit and you put it towards debt and the rest of that is your profit. It's like a bonus. Hello, you did good in your business. Here you go. Go splurge. Go do something fun. So we're paying down the debt and we are rewarding ourselves. That's 5%. The next is your salary. That's 30%. You are paying yourself as though you are an employee. So it's not, oh, I have a team of 15 and everyone gets paid, but I don't. So I work really hard and I'm not making any money. And it's also not, I have a ton of money sitting in a bank account and I'm just pulling out money whenever I want to to buy things for me or my kids. And then at the end of the month, I'm like, oh shit, where'd all my money go? It's not like that either because that is not a responsible way to build a business. So 30% goes to salary. Now here's the beauty of that. The salary account builds and builds over time, but you don't pull all that money out to pay you. So I pay myself once a week. I'm going to pay myself my salary and whatever's left sits there. It sits there quietly, out of sight, out of mind. So if, for example, my salary account was at $50,000, but I'm only paying myself $1,000 a week, well, there will be a lot of buffer there. So if, God forbid, something were to happen, some emergency, or I wasn't able to work, or maybe I didn't get a client for six months, I would still be paying myself the same salary every single week. So this is a great way to remove that feast and famine cycle from your business. It's time to get laser focused this year and fill your group programs and one-on-one -on -one calendar once and for all. My 90-Day Business Accelerator helps coaches and healers fill their group programs so they can scale their business, freeing up their time and making them more money than they made in the previous quarter. Visit go melissmarketing.com slash MWI, which stands for Marketing with Intention. See you there. So if you're in that feast and famine cycle and you're like, oh, yay, today I have 10 clients. Oh, no, next month I have one. Or, wow, I have a $30,000 month. And then you're like, oh, my gosh, I have a $2,000 month. That feast and famine can still happen in reality. But what's happening in your bank account is you're getting paid the same amount of money every single week and you don't feel the up and the down and the up and the down. And when you don't feel the up and the down and the up and the down, you actually feel really good about yourself knowing that your business is running like a business and you don't have that demoralizing, oh my gosh, self-doubt and self-limiting beliefs and imposter syndrome, which makes it harder to even open the universe up to more opportunities. So you pay yourself the same amount every single week regardless of what's happening in the business while that salary account grows over time. It's beautiful. It's very exciting. The next account is your taxes account. Wah, wah, wah. We have to pay taxes, at least here in the U.S. That's why we're doing the podcast today on tax day. How awful would it be if at the end of the year you pay your taxes, you calculate the whole year, and come April 15th, you have to pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to the government that you don't have in your bank account. Not only are you going to be shell-shocked, you're going to be like, uh, crap, what am I going to do? So what we do is we take a percentage out. I have it set for 23%. And at every single week, I'm putting 23% in that account and I never touch it. So what happens is taxes come around. Hey, Melissa, you owe this much. And I go, great, here you go, all yours. And if what I owe is less than 23%, 
I have extra in my account. And chances are it won't be more than 23%. So it's either you fill the bank account with 23% and you break even, or you fill the bank account with 23% and you get a little bonus at the end. The last account I have is my operations account. It's 42%. This is paying my team all the business expenses, all the softwares, all of those things. That's my operations account. The account that requires the operation of my business to move forward. So I don't end up with an uh uh-oh moment at the end of the month where some software that I absolutely need to run my business doesn't have any money to go towards it. For example, I pay ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels every single month is around $300. If I didn't have $300 to pay for my ClickFunnels account, most of what I do online would go down. Just like if I wasn't able to pay for my web hosting, my website would go down. Or my email management, I wouldn't be able to send emails. That's detrimental to my business. So it's imperative that I have money to afford that. So a percentage of what comes in is allocated for that. And then I never have to think about it. It's done. Now I know some of you listening to this are not at the business level that I am and that's totally okay. I got here over time and so will you. But the beauty of this system is that it's percentages. So no matter what you're bringing in, you can take a percentage and put it aside. Now, if you're only making $1,000 a month, you probably don't want to put 23%, $230 aside for taxes and pay yourself 5% because then you're only paying yourself 50 bucks. But if you can afford to live off 50 bucks, maybe you have a full-time job, maybe you have a spouse, maybe you're living at home with your parents, I don't know, then do this. Do this for as many months as you can so that you can get on your feet and you can build your business. Most of you listening here are not living on the poverty line and you do have income. So you're at a place in your business where you have money coming in, but you're just unaware of what's happening to it. And that is very bad for business. So I don't want you to be unaware. I want you to be well informed. So just as a generalization, profit 5%, salary 30%, taxes 23% and operations 42%. Now if you want to get into all the details of this you can go read the book Profit First but the point of this podcast whether you use Profit First or some other method is for you to know what's going on with your money. If you want to be successful in business and you want to grow your business and you want to scale your business and you want to delegate out and grow a team you have to understand what's happening to your money. Where is it coming in from and how is it going out? And once you get that in order, it'll be easy for you to run your business, easy for you to pay the people on your team, easy for you to know if you have enough money to sign up for a coach or to buy a a software or to purchase a course. And you'll also not be hit really bad at the end of the year with taxes that you can't afford. So I hope this helps. Happy tax day to you and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmeliss.com. Hey, coaches and healers, it's time to feel supported in your business. Head on over to our free community to get access to my best resources for free. I'm talking marketing tips, business strategy, feedback, and so much more. Join now at magneticmarketingmastermind.com. See you there.